let's talk about polestar or polaris well this is very close to north pole actually this is a visible star approximately aligned with the earth's axis of rotation so suppose this is the earth's axis of rotation and earth rotates west to east and if we project north pole and south pole of earth on celestial sphere they are called north celestial pole and south celestial pole the pole star is very close to north celestial pole well we can say that declination is uh, more than 89 degree it is very interesting to note that in 2012 the declination of pole star was 89 degree 19 minute and 8 second Uh, the declination is equivalent to geographical latitude so for north pole declination is 90 degree and declination of pole star is more than 89 degree so the diagonal path of polaris is a very small circle of radius less than 1 degree and this path is around the north celestial pole now you may wonder what is a diagonal path well the passage of heavenly body from rising to setting across the sky is called a diagonal path basically this is the apparent motion now let's look at here as earth rotates west to east the pole star will appear to be rotating east to west in a circle which is less than 1 degree radius let us understand this with the help of rational horizon diagram say this is north south east and west this is a rational horizon and the observer is at the center which is z now in this diagram W Q E. This is the equinoctial. That is the projection of equator. And Q Z is the latitude. Well, this is pole. And suppose uh, this pole star moves along with in this circle of one degree radius. Of course, this diagram is not to the scale. It's a bit exaggerated. for sake of clarity and understanding here let me explain few thing from n to z is 90 degree so np plus pz that is np plus pz is equal to 90 degree similarly from equinoctial that is q point q to p is 90 degree so which can be written as pz plus zq pz plus zq is also 90 degree now if we equate both the equation the pz get cancels so np is equal to zq so what is np np is altitude of elevated pole and here this elevated pole is north pole and zq is latitude of observer well let me explain what is elevated pole the pole which is above the horizon like in this diagram north pole is above the horizon that is called elevated pole and here the south pole is not visible so that is called depressed pole now let me explain this uh, diagram here suppose the pole star is at x1 and it moves like this and at times it is at x2 suppose the pole star is at x1 that means that np np will be equal to nx1 minus px1 well these px is the polar distance and this is bit exaggerated similarly if the star is at x2 
star it is at x2 that means star is somewhere here that means np will be nx2 plus px2 so at times the polar distance has to be subtracted like in this case and at time the polar distance has to be added however at any other time suppose the star is here because the star has is rotating uh, in uh, 24 hours a star has to or the polar star has to rotate along with this red circle suppose this is here and this is going to zenith this is h like this this one is h and this one is going to north pole so at this level we can have a small triangle p x and y and let me explain this that all other times except x1 and x2 some correction will be arc py arc py arc p and y and that can be positive or negative like uh, uh, we explain this here so the solution of x py for py is tabulated in nautical almanac and this is called pole star table so let me just give you the uh, recap of uh, pole star table so this is a uh, pole star table it is tabulated for year 2008 and here is LHA LHA Aries and this is in 0 degree to 9 degree now this is 10 to 19 degrees suppose LHA is 11 degree so we have need to have this uh, 0 degree 22.8 and for 9, 11 degree it will be 0 degree 22.5 similarly in the same column we have to come here in the latitude section and there is a1 factor and then we need to see the month factor then we need to find out this a2 well the last is azimuth and whatever the latitude is there and in that column we see this azimuth so the solution is arranged in three separate quantities a0 a1 and a2 like we just saw now and to each is added a constant and the sum of three constant is one degree well this one degree is subtracted at the end of calculation so we can say the altitude of polaris that is true altitude plus a0 plus a1 plus a2 minus 1 and this altitude of polaris is equal to the observer's latitude let me explain here np is equal to zq np is the altitude of elevated pole and zq is the latitude of observer well the altitude of pole is equal to latitude of observer and we need to correct this altitude by these correction a0 a0 a1 and a2 it should also be noted that polaris is not visible in south latitudes hence latitude obtained is north and azimuth is always northwards